What's up everyone, it is BrickLover18 here today, back with my lot of used Lego that I recently got for free um, from one of my dad's friends. As you can see, I've started going through it, I actually meant to pick up the camera earlier and do a little bit of talking, but I've started going through all of the parts here and sorting it out. So this is the Lego so far that I have received from that bin for free. I've also picked out a few minifigures, a few base plates, um, some non-Lego, and then some larger parts of sets that I'm not gonna fully break down because obviously they're fully intact. I've also been throwing out some of the non-Lego pieces, which is good. There hasn't been very many non-Lego pieces in here, which I really appreciate. Um, it is a majority Lego, but as you can see, I have about one tray left that I'm gonna be sorting. This Lego is a bit dirtier. It's, you know, pretty old, so it's dusty and stuff like that. So I am going to wash it as well. I don't wash a lot of my Lego. Um, like, I don't wash used Lego every time I get it because I, I probably should, but I don't. Um, but this one is pretty dusty, so I think it could benefit from a nice little, like, you know, scrub in the tub. Um, so I'm going to do that. And then, as you can see, this bin is relatively empty. I think I picked out all the parts from it. So I'm going to continue sorting it here, give it a little wash in the tub. And then I'm really excited because I want to come out and try and do some of the building because I've got a lot of these sets here. Um, all the instructions and stuff like that then i would love to actually build some of these sets up and have them on display here in my lego room because i think that would be a lot of fun all right so here's all the lego that i finished sorted as you can see the rest here is just like non-lego pieces and it yeah pretty dirty so this is all the actual lego bricks itself pretty decent size it filled up half that canada post bin what i'm gonna do now like i said is i'm gonna wash these bricks because they're dirty the containers were dirty and it would just be nice to have a nice clean set of bricks before I uh, decide to build with them. So I'm just going to put them in the bathtub with some warm water and some dish soap, uh, swish it around and then let it soak for a little bit and then drain it and rinse them off one last time. I've also got some of base plates here, which is really good. Happy with how many of those. And then just a bunch of random parts for some sets that I didn't want to tear down, tear apart. I separated all the minifigures here and then there's a few like loose pieces everywhere like I don't think these are Lego, but I left them aside just in case they are. Um, and I think there was a couple other pieces here and there that may kind of look like Lego, but I'm not sure, you know, if they actually are. So I just left them to the side. I'm going to do a little bit more research, but for now, I've got to go wash these. I have not washed Lego bricks in the longest time. It's been a couple of years now, so I'm a little out of practice, but I'm just going to do it today here in my bathtub. So I've got my bin of Lego parts right here that just need to be washed, and I'm going to start by filling the tub up with water. This is going to be one of the first times I've ever actually used this tub, only my guests shower in here every once in a while, so it's I guess I could call it my designated Lego washing tub. But I'm going to start it with the warm water here. And I'll add a little bit of cold water just so it's not too hot. And then I'm going to add some Dawn dish soap. This is Dawn Ultra. This is what I use for my dishes. You know, Dawn helps save wildlife, gets rid of the grease, all that good stuff. This video is not sponsored. It's just the dish soap that I wanted to try out and use. All right, now let's take the tub of Lego bricks here and dump them in the water. Listen to that sound it made. Holy and gross. Like, this is why you wash used Lego bricks, because that's disgusting. Anyway, now that it's in the water here, I'm going to swish it all around and really, really mix it up. So I'm really giving it a good shake here. I want all the parts to get nice and coated in the water and the soap and stuff like that. You can see the water is quite dirty, so this is why I'd always recommend washing some used Lego. Sometimes I get used Lego and it doesn't feel dirty at all. But quite frankly, this Lego is all, cause it's vintage and you know, from like the eight, 70s, 80s, 90s, it was extremely dirty and I did not feel comfortable building with it in the state that it was in. But yeah, like I don't always wash used Lego cause sometimes it comes and it feels like it's brand new, but other times, yeah, no, it needs to be washed. So now after a few minutes of stirring this around, I'm going to let the Lego marinate in this soapy warm water for a little bit just to get any excess dirt off. And then I'll come in, reshake everything around and then drain the tub. Now that the bricks have finished marinating in the bath water, which looks pretty gross, I'm going to get them into this bin and then I'm going to lay them out on this towel here so they can dry. So I feel like it maybe wasn't the best idea to do it the way I did it. I honestly don't know any other way and I don't have a mesh bag or anything, so I would do it again. 
but I've been spending about 10 minutes now trying to get all these parts out. I do have a majority of them out. And now what I'm just gonna do is slowly start letting the water out so I don't lose any of the smaller pieces that are still stuck in here while I try and get them out. All right, and now I've got all of the Lego parts laid out to dry. The bathtub is empty. I definitely feel like I lost a few parts down the drain, which is unfortunate. I'll have to try and snake them out so they don't clog it or anything like that. But all the parts are now washed, which I'm really happy about. They are laying on this towel to dry. I'm gonna turn the bathroom fan on and let them probably dry out for several hours now. And then I'll come in and check on them. If they're still wet, I'll leave them for more. And if they are all dry, I will pick them up and put them back in the Canada Post box, which is now also drying as well. Once they're all dry, I do want to try and build some of the sets and stuff like that that I believe were included in this haul. But we will have to wait and kind of see how that goes. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this LEGO video. I really hope you enjoyed. If you did, please don't forget to leave a like, comment, and of course, subscribe. And I'm looking forward to seeing you here in the next video.